Hello and welcome to another edition of Siler Design Solutions Tips and Tricks. My name is John O'Field and today we're going to cover how to add that additional important information to your tags through your MEP Revit project. So, most tags that we see within Revit, by default, default templates, whatever it might be using, very generic, typically only one parameter. Well, today we're going to change that. So, we're going to take these duct size tags and even though it's a duct size tag it works just the same with pipe conduit cable tray whatever it's you're using uh, but just look at the parameters that are given to you through this content and then that's what you can extract out so with that let's go take a look at this duct tag let's go up to our edit family in the family editor we see it's just the size tag Okay, well that parameter is actually coming from a list of available parameters that's pulling from those ducts. So, you know, what, what else would you like? How about bottom elevation? What about system abbreviation? So these are different things that we can start adding. What if I wanted to rearrange this? Yes, you surely can. Now, you can also stack these using this break command several different ways to come in and start utilizing this information now so let's just say we want it to look like that let's load it into our project making sure we update the existing version and its parameters and we can start seeing some of this information start to show so there's the size the bottom of elevation and well where's the system abbreviation just remember this information has to be filled out just the same as the others so if we come into our supply and that's one of the systems that we're looking at notice here our system abbreviation hasn't even been filled out I hit apply okay and then for our supply air system we start to see the system abbreviation being filled out now just depending where you're at what you're using you may not want as many and this is where you can create those multiple types within that family. So if you need to come up, start looking at, okay, maybe it is a duct tag, maybe it's a combo. Um, you know, start adjusting those uh, family categories. What about the different types? So maybe I just want a duct size uh, tag here. Okay, now what if I need another one? We'll call this uh, combo. Uh, one so you know maybe you know what that is internal um, what you're calling these tags and where you can create and use multiple parameters or have them available for check marks completely up to you and once that's done then the information's in there once you reload that reselect those tags you can start to see that information then populate so as we wait for this to um, update here we go grab one of these tags. Notice now, I have duct size tag, combo one available in there that we can go back and customize. So I hope this has helped out, show you get on how to obtain and gather more parameter data to show out in your drawings for Revit MEP. Have a great day. Thanks for coming by.